Hi, I'm Vanetta from The Handyman's Daughter, and today I'm going to show you how to make this mini greenhouse that only takes up a few feet of space on your deck or patio with adjustable shelves to give your plants plenty of room to grow. Let's get building. There are a lot of repeat cuts in this project, so I set the stop block on the miter saw station and crank them all out. I'm using pressure treated lumber from All Weather Wood, the sponsor of this video. This lumber is great for outdoor projects like this one since none of my plants will have direct contact with the wood. The top ends of the vertical pieces are cut at a 30 degree angle to form the roof. Then I drilled pocket holes into both ends of all the 2x2 two two frame pieces. The 2x2 two two boards are the same thickness as two fence pickets stacked together, which ends up working perfectly for the cleat system I'll be using for the shelf flats. I set the table saw fence to the thickness of one picket and then ripped a bunch of strips for the cleat. Run a bead of exterior wood glue along the length of the cleat, then align it with the bottom edge of one of the front pieces. Use a brad nailer to attach the two pieces together. My nailer ended up jamming on me halfway through this step, so I quickly switched to a drill and exterior screws for the rest. The front and back are assembled like a ladder, with all the pocket holes facing down towards the bottom. Check for square as you go and use clamps to hold the frame in place while you drive in the pocket hole screws. I always have trouble with pocket holes in 2x2s because the ends of the screws end up intersecting in the middle and causing the board to crack. To avoid this, I decided to only use the pocket hole on the outside edge of the cross support. The end of the cleat prevents this piece from spinning on the single screw. Flip the frame piece with the cross supports over and place it on top of the other one. Clamp them together, then drive in the pocket hole screws to complete the frame. Cut the roof pieces at a 30 degree angle at both ends. Leave them a little long so you can sneak up on the fit if necessary. Then apply wood glue to the joint, clamp it in place, and nail it together. Take the remaining cross support and join both angle pieces together with more pocket hole screws. Drill countersink holes where the roof lines up with the vertical pieces, then screw it all together. With the frame complete, it's time to move on to the shelf flat. These were just a little shorter than my stop block could reach, so I measured out the first one, then used it to mark the rest of them. Test the fit inside the frame and trim off the ends as necessary. I started sanding the slats, but some of them were just a little cupped, so I decided to use the jointer to flatten them first. Just a few shallow passes brought out the beautiful wood grain and cleaned them up quickly. Then I gave each slat a quick coat of spar urethane to protect the surface and bring out that warm color to match the frame. I couldn't wait to load up my new greenhouse with plants. The cover fits perfectly over the frame and zips up to help keep in moisture and heat. I started a few trays of seeds a few weeks ago and the seedlings are just starting to sprout in the greenhouse. I also picked up a flat of strawberry starts for another garden build coming up soon. So stay tuned for that project next week. If you want to build your own mini greenhouse, you can check out the tutorial and get the woodworking plans over on my website with the link in the description. Thanks for watching.